Now, the Petroleum Commission says it is on course to establish a virtual data room to incentivize investors to boost oil and gas exploration. This, according to Chief Executive Egbert Fabio Jr., will aid in increasing revenue and contribute to the country's GDP. He said that an investment in 3D seismic data in the country's offshore basin is key to the growth of the sector. Mr. Fabio uh, has been interacting with James Ishan on the state of licensing for some oil exploration firms as well. Seismic data acquisition is a route to go to get um, a lot more companies to sign up for petroleum blocks in this country. So with PGS, what we've done today is that we have an existing arrangement with them with respect to data acquisition. But there's a need to uh, process and also enhance the data as it exists. So that is what you saw us sign today. At the end of it all, when companies are signing on, uh, to license the data, they will see that the imaging that will come up as a result of this data using latest technology uh, by PGS will be more than they need to actually take investment decisions as to where to drill and whether to drill or not. Now, let's look at licensing regime within the upstream sector. We've seen some new oil marketing companies coming. What is the state of these or the licenses basically? Well, there are about 14 or so um, uh, petroleum agreements presently in, in place in Ghana. Of these 14, three are producing oil and gas. A few others are at uh, stages of appraisal. A few others are also waiting to drill next year. And so I would say that there's a lot of activity going on upstream. Every company is responsible for its own program. The Ministry of Energy, the sector agency, is very committed to ensuring that all these companies drill. The Petroleum Commission, as the manager and regulator of Ghana's upstream sector, if you ask the companies, they will tell you. I mean, there are monthly, sometimes weekly meetings on all these work programs and budgets for the next approvals to enable them drill. Because, as I keep saying, we cannot wait we need to bring our hydrocarbons to the surface quickly before the energy transition catches up with all of us. Are we to see the approval being done within, before the end of the year? Um, well, I mean, oil and gas is very technical. Um, drilling a well, for example, I was saying yesterday, offshore, ultra deep, will cost you between um, 50 to 60 million US dollars. It is not government's money that is used, it is investor funds.